Hey everyone, what is going on? And we're back with more Pokemon Shuffle. You guys didn't think that I forgot about Shuffle, did you? Well, I, I, I quit it. Of course not, of course not. Shuffle is my first true love. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I took a little bit of time off this weekend uh, just to play Kirby. And I'm having a lot of fun with that game. Thank you to all that... Uh, watch it and i really do appreciate it i hope you watch some other content uh that we will be beginning with soon uh so doing the new events for this week i will be back with the ux stages soon by the way probably tomorrow uh but yeah beginning with the new events i actually uh didn't realize this was a time stage i thought that it was uh, a move based stage i really just wasn't paying attention that's why i wasn't making the moves <laughs> immediately uh, not a big deal uh with the team that we're going with we have plenty of moves to be able to beat it in now i'm not saying the stage is easy the stage is definitely not easy but uh, if you have like a rock shot or shot out Pokemon that's super effective, then it will be easy. But if you don't, it's definitely going to be more difficult. So um, I would still try it because it is once a day. So you definitely want to go ahead and try it because you can get a mega speed up. So, you know, if you if you get that mega speed up and you don't beat the stage, you might want to throw a jewel at it. Uh, that depends, I guess. I don't know. But um, moving on, we have Groudon. So yeah, Groudon's back. De definitely farm barrier shot on this one. Uh, by the way, guys, what do you think of the new layout, uh, the overlay? Do you like it? Uh, I, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm I'm satisfied with it. The only thing I'm not too sure about is where the Pokemon Shuffle logo logo is. It's in the Today's Target box. And the problem with that is, uh, you know, sometimes we have like 10 Pokemon uh, when we're doing the UX stages. And there's no room to fit them. So I'm not really sure. I might have to move that. I just don't know where else to put it. The only thing I could think of is removing like the Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle and putting the logo over there. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, any feedback is greatly appreciated. I really appreciate all of, all the feedback you give me. Even if it's criticism, I, I totally appreciate it. Um, yeah, I wasn't having much luck with this. I wasn't getting the, the Groudons to fall exactly where I wanted them to. Uh, not a big deal. We still have, we have plenty of moves to be able to beat it. Groudon is one of the early stages in Pokemon Shuffle. It came back a while ago. So, uh, yeah, it didn't really matter. Uh, it came out a while ago. That's what I meant to say. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Not a big deal. Able to, um, still beat it just fine. And now we get, we get the correct match. And, you know, the Rock Shot Pokemon are definitely going to be able to get the job done. We have Shiny Mega Charizard X. Uh, definitely a good way to go. A shout out user. I would leave the last spot blank because those Groudon, there's not, there's not a lot of them and they're probably going to match. So you're not really going to be able to shot them out for the most part. So I would definitely leave the last spot blank if you're going in with a shout out user. Uh, but yeah, this one is not that bad just because, as I said, it's one of the early, early stages uh, in Pokemon Shuffle was released around the, like, the release time of the game, uh, basically. So yeah, we do go ahead and beat Groudon though. So that's nice. And as I said, you can definitely farm Barrier Shot. Even with Primal Groudon, it's, it's still a good ability. So it's definitely a good option. And it's two hearts, but it does have a fantastic drop rate. So that's good. Uh, moving on, we do have Winking Cyndaquil. And I'm just goofing around going in with Mega Blastoise and Landorus. Well, Landorus is good, but uh, using Mega Blastoise just for fun, just because uh, when do you ever see Mega Blastoise on the channel? Like, I never use it. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I, the board is basically preset. You could make that match and get rid of all the, the Cyndaquil, and you could make the match on the other side and get rid of it. But I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to make the four match, and that, uh, you you know, got rid of one of the Cyndaquil, so didn't get the match, but not a big deal because it doesn't have a lot of HP. This is a beginner stage for the most part. Um, it has plenty of moves to be able to handle it on, so you don't need Shot Out. You don't need Rock Shot. You don't need any of these overpowered, you know, Pokemon. You don't need Risk Taker. You should be able to handle this one just fine. Um, it's really not a difficult stage, so, uh, you'll be fine on this one. I would totally recommend catching it. It's not really that great. I believe it has Eject Plus. I could be wrong, but I believe that's what it has. And, uh, yeah, it's really not a great Pokemon, so one that you're not going to farm, but you, you definitely want to catch it just because it's cute. And Cyndaquil, I think, is a fan favorite, right? I mean, I love Cyndaquil. I don't know about you guys, but it's a really cool starter Pokemon, so I would totally recommend picking it up while you can. But yeah, we go ahead and knock out uh, a Cyndaquil, Winking Cyndaquil. So yeah, nice. And we get Nest Rank, not that it matters. but um, And a person like Skill Booster, again, that doesn't matter though, because we will not be farming Winking Cyndaquil. And so moving on, we have Registeel. And Registeel uh, is another one that I could understand it being tough. But if you have like a super effective shout out user or uh, even like, like Rock Shot or... 
Uh, even some of the, I mean, it won't be a tough one for you. Uh, but if you don't, I could see it being tough, I guess. Uh, but you know, I, I didn't, I didn't find it that bad, uh, just because I have an overpowered team. But, uh, yeah, I would totally recommend, even if you can't, even if you are having trouble with it, maybe you use that attack power and you should have a better, better chance of being able to beat it and catch it. I wouldn't recommend farming Reggie Steel. It's not bad. I mean, if you skill swap it, I believe it has. I want to say it has Block Smash++, plus plus, and that's totally not a bad ability, so you could do it, but uh, I, I don't think it's worth really playing this stage over and over and over again just to max that out, especially since Block Smash++ plus plus has a decent ability, at, I mean a decent activation rate as it is, so uh, totally one that I would not not farm, uh, but I would definitely catch it. Yeah, like like the Rock Shot and the Shot Outs were not activating, but Unity Power actually activated. <laughs> so, so I think it was like a four match, and, and then we activated it again on a three match, I think. Or no, we activated on the four match, yeah. So um, activating a couple Unity Powers, able to knock that out on the Burn Plus, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, you can go in with like a Shiny Mega Deontay if you have it to get, if you want to get rid of these blocks and rocks. That's definitely a good way to go. Uh, it is resistant, but it's still a good option. But I, I didn't skill swap uh, Reggie Steel just because, as I said, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, but yeah, so moving on, we have Mimikyu, and Mimikyu is back, so that's awesome. Uh, I think this is like the third time I've played Mimikyu on the channel. You know, I, I could be wrong. I, I think it, I think that is the case. Uh, Mimikyu is another one that doesn't have a whole lot of HP, so hopefully you guys don't have too much trouble with it. I would totally recommend it. It's totally worth farming if you didn't max it out the last time or the last couple of times. Totally recommend it. You definitely want to go after Mimikyu because Mimikyu is an awesome Pokemon. I use it on the channel all the time. You guys know that. Um, really not a difficult stage. It's been back so many times. I remember the layout of the stage. I have the Drift Blim just because it does disrupt with barriers on the top row, which is a little bit annoying. So that definitely helps out. You don't need it, but it, it definitely obviously does help out. Uh, Trevenant helps out to get rid of those Mimikyu. You could go in with um, a less... A team that's really not so much so as powerful and you should be able to handle it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, uh, if you have a, a relatively decent team, you should this stage should be um, okay for you. I don't think it's that bad, but yeah, we do go ahead and beat Mimic you. Uh, so yeah, definitely totally pick it up. Uh, definitely pick it up because it is a good Pokemon. So we also pick up the S rank. Not a big deal. Doesn't matter. Um, now we have Demise, and I don't believe Demise was ever repeated. In fact, I know it wasn't. Um, it, yeah. So we do have Demi Demise back, and if you skill swap it, it has Shadow Shock. Now that's not a bad ability, but there's plenty of other strong Ghost types. So you might not think it's worth it. And personally, I don't think it's worth it. But it is a good. Um, but it's a decent ability, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So if you don't have some of those overpowered ghost types, it's one that you might consider. But another thing you have to take into consideration is that Hoopa, I think it's Hoopa Confined, gets Shadow Shock and it technically can become stronger. So, uh, if you give it enough raise max level. So, you know, that's technically out, that te technically outclasses Delmai. So, a uh, one that I would probably pass on, but, um, it's not terrible. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And if you couldn't, if you didn't realize this is not the shiny Mega Charizard X, this is the regular one. I did decide to fully max it out just because people were saying they had success with it in survival mode. Uh, so I wanted to give it a try. I haven't tried it in survival mode yet, but I did max it out and it Mega Evolves in one turn. So that's awesome. Uh, I love it. So. You know, obviously, I'm just goofing around on this stage with the sh with the the Mega Charizard, just bringing it, just because I want wanted to ha have fun and I wanted to use it, and I love Mega Charizard X, so why not? Uh, Delma shouldn't be too bad for you though, so uh, we do go ahead and beat that. Uh, moving on, we have Genesect, and this is normally an expert stage. And back in the day, I actually used a full item run on this. That that was like years ago or whatever. When I first got up to it, there was no shot out. There was no uh. Risk taker. I don't. I don't even think skills really could increase at that time. So this was such a tough stage, and um, yeah, I I remember, now you could S rank the expert stage itemless. Um, I actually didn't. I didn't do as well as I could have on the stage because I was trying to, for the most part, set up cross attack plus just because I wanted to activate it. Um, really no reason why. Uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't set it up. You know, I was trying to, and it kept on throwing disruptions in my way, so I wasn't able to set it up. So finally, I just, you know, gave up and just, you know, you did the rapid dash, 
Smash, we'll try to do the rap of the Smash, but we ended it with Noivern, and that was able to seal the game. But yeah, just trying to um, activate uh, Lugia's Request Attack Plus just for fun. Uh, not a big deal, it doesn't really matter, so we do get the air rank because of that. But it's really not a tough stage if you have this team, but if you don't have like like one super effective shout out user, totally a tough stage. And uh, the final stage, the grand finale, and we're ending on such a great note. We have Buzzwall. Buzzwall, you definitely want. It's amazing. How many times have I used Buzzwall, guys? You know it. You you should catch it if you can. Now, if you feel like you can't beat it, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't do it because you don't want to spend the the twenty thousand coins and not catch it. That would just be an awful feeling. So, you know, I personally, I I don't know if you definitely want it, but if you can't, if you feel like it's too powerful, and it definitely is strong. Then it's probably not worth it because you don't want, as I said, you don't want to lose that 20,000 coins and you cannot use items. So, um, but it totally is worth it to catch it because it's such a good Pokemon. It has such a good ability. If you have it already, um, it does give out five experience boosts. It, well, it gives out the five experience boosts a large regardless, but if you have it, you could decide for yourself if it's worth it. I decided to do it just because I wanted to make a video, but the, the five experience boosts a large might not be worth it for you. Um, that's totally up to you, uh, if you already have it. Uh, if you're low on coins, I would say it's probably not worth it, but if you have like max coins and you feel like you can get back to max by next week, uh, then it's totally worth going after for the five experience boosts a large. But yeah, as for me, as I said, just wanted to get the video out. So um, of the the buzzwall, so I, that's why I did go ahead and throw the twenty thousand coins added. Uh, but yeah, we do finish it off with Mewtwo. So ending on a good note. Uh, so yeah, this is buzzwall. This is the final stage of today, and we do go ahead and get the S rank. Not that it matters. And here's the five experience boosts large. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.